Uh, hey everyone, it's Delicracy here and welcome to a new video. I'm so excited because today is the day I get to review the laundry stuff pack that is coming out in a couple of days time. Thank you so much to EA for the early access to be able to share it with you guys so we can figure out if it's worth your money. So basically I've already done the Creative Sim review. I will link it right now if you want to check that out. This is such a big and detailed stuff pack, probably the biggest and most detailed stuff pack we've had in The Sims 4. So I've actually had to split this up, this review up into three separate videos. This video is going to be the review of the build and buy options. And then in the next video, we will do a review of the gameplay because it's so detailed and I like to figure out every nook and cranny that's in the pack. So let's get into build and buy and I'll link the other videos in the description down below. Let's go. Okay guys. So I've just jumped into my game and I've got my two sims here that are wearing the new creator sim outfits. This is Deter Detergent running away from us and then her brother Andre Detergent who is having a chat to a neighbor. Now let's jump into build and buy because I cannot wait to see all of the new goodies. We'll go into rooms and we'll filter it now to the laundry pack. Da, 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 da. There we go. And we can check out some of these new pre-built rooms. I always like to check these out first because it kind of shows you the vibe of the pack, the color scheme, and also the ways in which you can use the items. So we've got a nice wicked and honeycombed uh, pre-built room right here. Very, very, very cute. Uh, we can see some of the new wicker furniture pieces there. We've got a nice little outdoor area, hang out to dry. And I mean, already you can see this has a very casual feel about it. It's very homely. It's got a bit of an eco living look about it as well. And of course this pack is the first pack that The Sims has ever asked for assistance from players to actually vote on what objects they wanted in the pack. So it's the items are really, really good. And I think these are items that a lot of players will like as a result of that. Uh, and then we've got a piece together room. So these look like two different laundry rooms, one a bigger version and one a smaller version. Okay, in terms of build and buy, we don't have any new plants or pool items or gates or fences or floors or wallpaper but we do have a new door. Okay, so we have two new doors available here. They're characterized by big hinges on them, a diagonal strip in the woodwork, and also some details on the window. So that's kind of cute. And there's also a version that comes with a curtain too. So that's really, really nice. Let's have a look at some of the different swatches available. Uh, okay, so there's a couple with that light, that very orangey wood color. I love that color, that's one of my favorite colors. Oh, I love the blue door actually, the blue's really nice and the yellow is really nice too. Always nice to have that black option. So really bright, happy colors, but as well as the classic white and black, which I always personally like to have. So yeah, I've got to say though, if we do turn the door around, I am a little, like this is this is a really nitpicky thing, but you guys know sometimes I'm a little bit overcritical of packs. I don't really like these big hinges because one, they're, they're so big. They contrast so much to the door. It doesn't look totally realistic to me. And I really dislike seeing hairy graphics. Like on the black door, I prefer this door because you can't see the hairs on the graphic. But look, can you see that little bit of vibration in the graphic there, that hairiness? That really bothers me in The Sims 4 whenever objects have that, because I don't know if I'm crazy, but I can see it even if we're zoomed out to about here, I can see that this object looks a lot smoother. That's my only thing to pick about it, but I mean, overall, if we're not being nitpicky, it's a really cute door and it's gonna be really useful for a lot of players. That is for the shortest door available as well, in case you guys were wondering. Let's jump into the new furniture. Oh, Oh my God, you know, this is a healthy selection. These items have new animations. The laundry is newly animated. It even has animations for toddlers and the wash tub, which is really cute. So it's actually a lot of work for a stuff pack. It's pretty big, not to mention the detail in the washing, which I'll explain in my other video. Okay, we have some wicked, wicker furniture. Ba -boom Damn, I'm funny. Damn, I'm punny. These are so nice. I love these. We've got matching couches, matching chairs. So gorgeous. We don't really have any wicker furniture already in the game, I don't think, or none that's quite like this. So I'm really excited about it. 
super nice colors. We've got bright options. We've got more laid back options. This colorway is actually so lovely and beachy. I really, really like that. The green's kind of fun too, because we don't have a lot of green. Uh, I've got to say this, I am not into, but that is such a personal preference. <laughs> I'm just like, <gasps> so bright. Um, I much prefer like the blue and the yellow. Like this is cute. This is too much for me. <laughs> But yeah, I love this furniture. I think it is really, really nice. My favorite colorway is definitely this gray and the crew color. I think that's really nice. And then we also have these wicked dining chairs. Wicked dining chairs. I think these are lovely. So nice, so classic. Simple yet effective. You can't really go wrong with those. We also have this chair, which is actually a bonus chair. On the live stream, Graham said that they didn't actually have this as a part of the pack. Oh, it's got polka dots on it and little stripe details. I'll just put that in the shade so you guys can see that. <gasps> so cute. They actually just happened to do this because the artist had extra time on the stuff pack. So this is like a bonus item. Super nice. I love these patterns. They're so cute. Oh, I dislike the yellow wood. Not my kind of thing, but hey. We also have a Diners on Crockery kitchen table. Now, this is the first of its kind. This is very, very exciting because this table is not an ordinary table in The Sims 4 because it can fit one, two, three, four, five, six chairs around it. I know so many of you guys are gonna dislike the fact I changed one of the chair colors, so I better change it for you. But yes, this is our first round indoor dining table. And that is so cool. We need more round tables. I absolutely adore the fact that that's been included in this pack. Really, 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 really cute. Uh, let's filter it back again. Okay, so we've also got some nice table items here. This is like, what is this? A old ends table. If you read the descriptions of every item, which I don't think we have time to do in this video, but you guys can do that in your own time if you have uh, a little bit of extra time to do that. I believe Graeme has spent a lot of time writing the descriptions and had a lot of fun with them. So I'm excited to read that. Not exactly an end table. This little unit just ends up being a bit odd. Still, it's perfect for storing odds and ends in out of the way locations. That's cute. Uh, then we have this, which I really, really, really like. This is an unusual side, size for shelving. So excited about that. I love the little rustic tin on it, the polka dot pillows. It's just like really sweet and really realistic for what we have in our houses at home. So I just really, really like that. And we will be testing to see how many slots these shelves have on them as well. We have a lovely coffee table here. Uh, we have seen a few square coffee tables. I love the fact we have them in the game now. Square coffee tables are probably my favorite kind of coffee table in real life. So yeah, oh, that yellow, is it just me? I just, ugh, I don't, I do not like that yellow color. The other colors I totally like. So this is really cute. The blue's quite nice too, that's a bit of fun. Okay, we also have this shelving unit. This is really nice. This is kind of like, could be in your entrance room. Is the entrance room in America and Canada called a mud room? I heard that on the live stream and I've never heard that before. I was like, what's a mud room? I assume it's an entrance room, but yeah, that's kind of nice. Uh, this is really creative, I thought. This is just shelves and some wall decorations. I think this is really, really lovely. I'm gonna use this a lot. It's something we don't have. It's different to a painting. It's different to just plain shelving. Really, really lovely to have in the game. Here's another shelf. Oh, nearly grabbed two of them. Beautiful. I love the rustic things at the bottom of the shelf. I'm, I'm sure rustic is the main kind of aesthetic in this pack, very rustic. It's got a bit of country vibe too but I love it and it's a bit industrial as well. So we'll check out how many slots are on that in a little while. We have some more wall decorations. I'm gonna get rid of this one so we can check this out. Absolutely love this, how cute is that? Oh my gosh, I love this object. I love everything about it. Oh my gosh, I hope we have that plant available as a separate thing. Have the iron, 
I hope that's separate. I hope this is separate. All of these shelf items, I really want to be separate, but I feel like I'm hoping for too much. <laughs> Love the towels, coat hangers on there. Just really cool, industrial, rustic look. Beautiful. Uh, let's get rid of these doors here because I do want to check out the shelves as well and make some use of those. Okay, next up, we have more shelves. Oh, wow. Love, 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 love. Damn it, there's not enough room for this. Okay, this is very similar to this object. Like we can see it's using the same types of flourishes on it, uh, but just a different shape. And yeah, I love that. I like the yellow on the shelf. Why do I have such an issue with that yellow wood color most of the time? I don't know what it is. I just, it makes me feel sick or something. Oh, I'm a weirdo. Uh, we also have this sink, which I love. This I'm gonna use so much. So nice. Again, I wish we didn't have that bucket underneath because we do get that bucket as a separate item and I would have put that under there myself. I don't really like it under there because this could be in a really sleek looking house, but I still freaking love it. Like, I just love it. There's, the, It's just like a sink made for my game. It's perfect. And this sink is actually really, really beautifully made and designed. It's just so unique. It has so much character. And I love the fact it comes, where is it? In this color, so rustic, so bright. It is so gorgeous. Oh my God. I love it. Oh, this is too much to handle right now. I need to calm down. After seeing the creative sim items and now getting these items, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Now this is an item we have all been waiting for. This is the washing machine. Now it was interesting because one of you guys had the feedback that you didn't like the graphic of the washing machine. You thought it looked fake. I don't have an issue with it. I really like it. I think this is a good looking machine. I don't have a problem with it at all. And it comes in your neutral colors. It comes in your other colors. I really like it. Um, I don't have a problem with it at all. Now there are a couple of things on here that I think will indicate what kind of washing you were making in gameplay. So we'll look at those later because it's got like the fish and the flower, which I think is a nod towards scents. Uh, and then we have the fire dryer. So we have the green clean washing machine and the fire dryer. So I think Graham said he likes making these different colors so you can tell which one's the washing machine. Obviously you can stack them or you can place them side by side on the ground. They work perfectly well with counters. One of my big disappointments with this pack or probably my only big disappointment is we did not get any new counters. Is this a counter? No, that's a table. Yeah, we did not get any new counters. Counters is something that everyone is screaming for, everyone is wanting. Counters are like the new beds in The Sims 4 because we all wanted beds and now we all want counters. This would have been the perfect time to put counters in the game. Uh, so that is like, no. <laughs> I really want the counters. Um, also, we have the stackable, uh, the stackable version of these that can be individually colorized as well. Now, this isn't just one item. This is two items. It's just a quicker way for you guys to be able to just pull it out and place it. So that's really nice for ease of playing. Then there's old Timmy's wash tub. Rubber dub dub, foul clothes in this tub. What are you waiting for? On hand and knees, you'll scrub this tea until you complete this chore. Was that meant to rhyme? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is a object that your Sims will interact as well. This isn't just decor. Uh, so this is really cool. If you want to, you know, do washing the old style way, you want to take your Sims outside, enjoy the outdoors, uh, save the environment, get this Timmy old tub or whatever it was called. Old Timmy's wash tub. Love it. Mm hmm. We have three new washing baskets. These will be interacted with during gameplay too. Uh, you know, really, really lovely block coloring. I think these are so nice. We have a more modern one. This reminds me of Ikea so much. <laughs> I really like that. And then we have another kind of weavy, weavy wicker type of thing too. Uh, really nice texture actually. I don't think we've ever seen that texture in the game. So that's really nice. If that's not enough, we also have a clothesline for your Sims to as well interact with. I'm gonna clean up some of this space. Uh, yeah, so your Sims will interact with this clothesline. 
the animation's actually really nicely done. We'll look at that in gameplay. Uh, super duper, duper nice. You know, simple. It's going to go with any house. Yeah, I just love it. I love it. There's, there's nothing that I can't not like about that. Here are some of our decor objects. Really, really cute pine cones, a tree of decorations. That's really nice. Very organic, light looking. It can be indoor or outdoor. Super sweet. I'd love these pine cones to be separate because I'd love to put them next to the fireplace um, because we used to burn pine cones in our fireplace when I was growing up. This is my life right now. I love this. I can see this in a restaurant as well if you have dine out. This tree is everything. Oh, it makes me so happy. Except the yellow color. Oh, I just, mm, that's a nice tree. It is a nice tree. We have this too, which is so cute. I love the fact that it's on this little footstool. Again, I wish that footstool was separate because I just want to use that in my builds. It would be such a handy item. Like, I really wish that was separate. Um, super cute though. And then we have some of our items that we can put on shelves and use as clutter. So this doesn't have any slots inside here, I don't think, but we have slots all across there. Uh, we've got slots on lower and upper shelves. You know, when The Sims 4 first came out, we didn't really have a lot of slots on items. So it's really nice to see that we're getting so much these days. There are a few different colorways as well. So you can put a couple of different versions of the product next to each other. Here's that bucket that was underneath the sink. Um, I believe feedback was that people wanted that bucket separately. So that's really, really nice. I think players definitely want separate items or separated items. This is really cute. This is just like a pile of baskets. I mean, super useful, super nice decoration. Love it. <gasps> Still country life. Oh my gosh. This is so adorable. I love this. And I also happen to really like this footstool as well. And this, I just, I just want all of these as separates because I can piece them together like this. And I'd kind of like to do that myself, but I guess for players who just want to furnish quickly, that's easy. Uh, we do also have this wall item here, which is the, what do you call this? Rubber dub dub thing. Uh, so you can hang that up on the wall that you don't interact with, but it's a really nice piece of decoration. So that's really nice to have in your laundries. Love it. I'm just going to skip across to some of these wall items. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that and put that there. Okay. This is a nice broom. Nice. Can't go wrong with that. Super useful. Uh, we have a wreath. This is really, really pretty. And no, this isn't for Christmas time. This is decor for any time. So beautiful. It reminds me of fairies. I feel like I could pick that up and put it on my head and it would look so cute. Really, 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 really nice. <laughs> Actually, I think it would be a bit weird if I put that on my head. These. Yes. Yes, honey. This goes in my country kitchen. Oh my gosh, with my hanging saucepans, so perfect. We have ironing boards for our wall decor. So cute, love that. It goes kind of perfectly with the broom item. Isn't that adorable? And no, you can't work with these objects. These aren't animated, but they look really, really nice. I think they, oh, that's a cute colorway. I think they did ask players if players wanted to be able to interact with ironing boards, but it just wasn't in the budget to put that into a stuff pack. You know, I think the more they, the more they do, the more it's starting to lean into a game pack area. So I understand that they had to cut back on a few things. Uh, let's maybe go ahead and put these candles over here. Isn't this pretty? So nice. I really like these. Um, they're just pretty. We don't have an item like that. And it's going to look so nice in the middle of the circular table too. It's kind of made for that. <gasps> this is like, yes, this, I've been wanting this. This is, I love it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My only thing would to be make, it would be to make longer versions of this. Maybe we'll get some CC with longer versions. I love a hanging single light bulb. Yes, honey. 
Okay, now we have the rugs. There's actually a really nice selection of rugs in here that of course you can use your bracket keys to size up and down. So that's really, really nice. And yeah, this is just like your plain neutral rug. Love it. These are really nice, say circular woven rugs. Cute, right? Very cute. And we have a couple of those. These apparently are really easy to make. Well, they, they're not too time consuming to make because there's a same shape uh, item. The art people, I don't really know the exact words, but apparently it's easy for the art people to make us a few different designs. So we got a few different mandala looking rugs. Really beautiful. I like this. I feel like this is really, really lovely. And I feel like we are also getting a lot of geometric items. Uh, so in future stuff packs, I'd probably ask that we get some less geometric options. I really would love a Persian rug. So there we are. We have a few different versions of these. Oh, and if you go through the rugs, we do get different options. I just didn't go through enough. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, here we go. Here's the other rug that gives us a few other options. Okay, well, this makes me happy because they're quite different. Although, oh yeah, we've got a bright version and more muted version. Yeah, that's really, really cute. And I love the fact that we have all three rugs, but they've also listened to us that we wanted um, separate rugs too. So that's really sweet. I am, you know, super impressed with this. I'm just gonna have a look at the shelves again on this other side because I just want to quickly look at how we can place items on this shelf. I'm just going to use the detergent I think. Uh, so there's a couple of slots there and there, there and there and of course you can pop things on all four of these shelves. So they work really nicely. Well guys let me know what you think of this pack. Are you guys as stoked as I am with the objects? I really really love them. Again there's a few things especially decor items I think we need more of for shelves because it is hard to decorate shelves with the limited amount of stuff we have. I mean we have a lot but if you're like me you want more. You always need more. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think about this new pack in the comments down below. What do you think of Build and Buy? If you watch the other two videos I've made of the gameplay and also the creator sim, let me know what you think of all of these combined. Do you think this pack is worth your buck? I personally do. I think this is a massive stuff pack. This is a stuff pack, not a game pack. It's huge, it's detailed and I think they've done a really fantastic job with the help of the community as well. So well done guys. Give yourself a pat on the back if you've been voting. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on for more videos. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world. I will speak to you soon. So soon.